welcome to this week's episode of the XPLA show. Live on location from the Gadget Show Live, we're looking at all the latest tech releases. We're live with Craig Brandel. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. PD20K. Uh, well, the new kit obviously gives you another 50 kits. Um, it's finished in the chrome, um, really nice out of chrome sort of uh, ply. We can also wrap it, uh, obviously new silver symbols, and the editing power of the brain is so powerful now. Definitely look at give the TD9 a shout. It's, um, it sits right in the middle of our, of our range, goes uh, HD1, TD4, TD9, 12 and 20. Um, has some amazing editing functions, and plus you can play along with your iPod, etc, etc, like the rest of our range. I think it's very, very cool aquarium. Cool, so is there anything you can tell us about how they're made? Okay, basically what you're looking at is an award-winning aquarium. Nine patents, self-contained, pre-assembled, snap on a frame, chuck in a new background. It's as simple as that. The LCD control panel on the side does all the hard work for you. It's about 10 minutes maintenance a month, so it's very simple to look after. If for people with a busy, the background images literally slide in and out. So that's actually submerged in the water. Yeah. What you guys can actually do is, you can even email us your own images. Basically, the total weight is 37.5 kilograms. It comes with a mounting bracket with two little hooks. It's almost like hanging any picture on the wall. Same process. So we're here at the Warfighter stand. Yeah, Warfighters are the largest, UK's largest laser war gaming site. Now, their civilian games include Sniper School, Ghost Recon. We're backed quite heavily by Ubisoft, and we do a lot of stuff for uh, bringing things like Call of Duty, Ghost Recon to life for gamers. Are you planning to incorporate a Splinter Cell themed thing at Warfighters? Yes, we are, definitely. Yeah, we've got a new game called uh, Conviction, which is a pistol-based game, and uh, that'll be coming out very shortly. Awesome. So we're at the Cisco Flip stand. It's the Flip Mino HD 2. Oh, okay. This is the brand new product. It's not yeah. released until tomorrow, but it's a Gadget Show exclusive. I turn that on, and within three seconds, it's ready to record. Isn't that amazing? Got a really clear screen on there as well. Two hours record time, and of course, the signature Flip, flip out USB arm on there as well. So we're here with Team Dignitas at Gadget Show Live. How are you guys doing? Yeah, good. So obviously, competitive gaming, have you won any recent titles? Um, yeah, we've won a hell of a lot. Uh, since CGS ended, uh, got back to Team Dig Dig Dignitas fully, so we attend about 100 events a year. The side of competitive gaming, there's obviously a lot of training involved and the actual fact of you're competing for prize money. Do you get your guys to train a lot and play the game? Yeah, luckily I don't have to push our guys to do that. They, they know to be the best, you have to practice. It's a UK Quake champion, champion at the moment. Well, we practice, as you can imagine, we've got to practice a lot to keep our standards high. Uh, and like I say, all, all the team realise what it takes to be the best. That's why we are the best at what we do. So we're here with Jason Bradbury. How are you doing? I'm, I'm, all, I'm awesome, man. Yeah. Do you like my show? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty awesome. Put on a party, do you know what I mean? Invite yeah. 70,000 people, yeah. get a 4,000 seat at theatre, you know? If you're going to do a party, do it properly, I say. Yeah, I am. I'm a big gamer. I was, yeah, I think I'm balanced. Uh, I play more Xbox than I do PS3. I find the online experience better. Yeah. Super psyched about Project Natal. Yeah. Okay, um, well obviously you're known for playing Xbox Live with people on Twitter. Do you like to give out your gaming tag? Dude, I can't is, is do that, that, is that, is that your private kind of... I can't because the thing is, no, I would do. I'd love to share my gaming tag. The problem I have is I wouldn't be able to play games. There is this thing about being post 40 <laughs> where the old hand-eye coordination yeah. Yeah. slows down. And it is interesting watching um, my skill set compared to young players. And I'm, I'm horrified to say that I can see there is now a difference developing. As I get older... Have you tried um, Battlefield Bad Company 2 then? Obviously you're known for playing Modern Warfare quite a lot. Have you picked up that? Yeah, I've played it. I don't relate to it as well as I do MW2. No, everyone's loving it. Maybe if I give it some time, if I get yeah. some time. The demo is the demo. I need to see the full game and I haven't seen that yet. So, Well, have you tried the stimulus package for Modern Warfare 2 then? I mean, it's, the thing is, when you love something, anything is good. You know, yeah. anything's, anything's helpful. It's not always great, but, you know, it's, 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 it's good. I mean, I, I, I'm stretching my legs in some of the new maps. Hope you keep playing Xbox yeah. and all that kind of thing. I certainly will. Thanks, Jonathan. So that has been Gadget Show Live 2010. This has been xboxliveaddicts.co.uk. Make sure you rate, comment and subscribe to see more event coverage and more interviews.